right, welcome back to another episode of Hippie's Chopper Corner. Y'all heard that banging ass song? That's some local boys out of Bowling Green called Twangin' Round. Y'all check them out on YouTube, Twangin' Round. That's that Southern Country Boy rap. I'm gonna tag them in this video too, Twangin' Round. If y'all take the time to check out my poor little humble channel, y'all hit me up, man. We'll film a video out here. Ain't nothing cooler than choppers and fucking machine guns out here, grilling, barbecuing. Be a killer place to make a video, guys. I invite y'all out for that. All right, let uh, let's get some stuff ready, and uh, we're gonna get you guys a video out. Uh, I got a banger coming out next week. Um, it's being edited as we speak. I probably won't be able to drop it till next week. So I'm trying to get you guys a video out today. Um, and uh, hopefully it'll work out. So, been running low on oil. Um, so I got some packages in. Um, my, um, uh, oil for my shovel heads and pad heads. I usually like to run it. I've showed it before. I like to run this clot 60 weight oil. It's been a pretty good product. Uh, I've got a lady in Murfreesboro, uh, local company. I'm going to start using her. Uh, she talked about sending me a couple of cases. Uh, just going to plug her on my channel. I hadn't got around to that, so I'm going to hold. I'm going to hold that in my hat until I'm ready for that. Uh, but that's coming. Uh, not an official sponsor, but just throwing me a little love is what she's doing. Because uh, I'll probably never get any sponsors, guys, and I don't really care. Apparently it's because of the uh, <laughs> the rebel flag sticker or the lightning bolts you might see. I don't know. I don't care. I, I never started this channel to make money anyway. Uh, and I also had to pick up oil for my... From a rope glide, I usually have to do, I run full synthetic 2050 in my rope glide, Screaming Eagle Oil. It's expensive, but that clots is expensive too. Uh, but that's your blood, you know, that's the heartbeat of your engine. Uh, they say on synthetic oil you can go every 5,000 miles. I still change my oil every three, I change all three holes every 3,000 miles. Primary transmission and uh, Engine oil. I do it every every three thousand miles, regardless of whether I'm running synthetic or not. Um, so I'm due for an oil change now. Three thousand miles will go by just like that. I'll need to do another oil change, so I probably got three more oil changes I'll have to do this year. I got two of them right here. Of course, that's only four quarts oil. You got to pick up two extras, and I've got and that's what I'm running my transmission, guys. I run that bell ray, my transmission. And I thought I was grabbing a quart of Formula Plus because I didn't realize the dealership sold 50 weight oil. So I've got a spare, I know those are 60 weights, but I've got a, there's a spare 50 weight. Uh, that'd be a good one to throw in the bike when I go on a trip like I'm fixing to do. Take that 50 with me in case I needed it. Uh, but on my, in my primary, I usually run Formula Plus. So that's, that's the program for the road light right there, is the, uh, is the formula plus. But all of this is for that, and then this oil over here, like I said, this is my shovel head oil. Uh, I don't really change out my transmission fluid in my shovel head, I just keep it topped off with, uh, with the 9120 gear oil. That's what I run in mine. A lot of guys run 60 weight gear oil in their transmissions. Uh, I don't. Uh, I guess you can run what you want. Uh, you know, it's your motorcycle. You can do what you want with it. Uh, hell, you, uh, you can fill that transmission up with rocks and haul them around and tell what you want to do with it because it's yours. Uh, but, I ain't got much new to talk about really this week. Um, if you guys caught my last short, y'all saw that super glide with the ape hangers that was on the lift. That was a customer's bike. I got him and I, him in and out of here real quick. Um, gonna get this one pulled out because we got to get it loaded up. And uh, 
Got to get it loaded up and ready to go. And, uh, Bronco Jerry stopped by. He wanted to see the uh, the white light I got for sale, and brother wound up giving me a Super B carburetor. What a cool dude, man! Gave me a bitchin' ass carburetor. Uh, these old Super Bs, sometimes they're fit again. Sometimes they won't start right up. Somehow it won't be to kick forever. ready to go and uh, we'll figure out a few more things but uh, in my shout out video a couple of channels I didn't mention that I forgot about T-Bone you're one of them running with T-Bone Rich and Wreck really good channel man you guys go check him out and uh, there's another channel a lot of you guys probably watch them watch them and that's unaffiliated out in California, there's a couple of unaffiliated. You got the unaffiliated, who shout out to you, the unaffiliated. You're one of my subscribers and my con, uh, Jamon Ra. And then you got unaffiliated youngsters out in California. Uh, they're just like me, man. They're sketchy as hell, you know. And they'll tell you, I may not know how to do something, but I'll figure it out. So f you if I ain't doing it right, I'm doing it my way. That's their that's their opinion. So I dig them guys for that. So shout out to unaffiliated. Let me uh, get back to this. Bring y'all back shortly. <coughs> so I'm glad I... Glad I checked that I should have done it the other day when I had it on the bike. It's a little low. 
It's got enough that it's right to the bottom of the oil slinger. There's an oil slinger in here. And let me tell you, man, I spent a lot of money on this transmission. Andrews and Eastern Gears and Colony Hardware. <coughs> Y'all hang on a minute. Ah, catch my breath. But anyway, there's enough in there to catch the catch the oil slinger. I'm actually out of gear oil. So I'm gonna top it off with some fifty weight. Some of y'all might not like that, but that's what we're gonna do. see what happens. Sorry about that, guys. That's a first good coffin fit I've had in a while. I, uh, I went the other day and got tested, did an allergy test. They poked me 50 times in my back. They'll, they'll, they'll write one through 50 on your back. They got these little needles. Each needle's got a different allergy in it, you know, hayseed, dander, fescue, whatever. So 50 shots in my back, then they did 25 right here on my arm. Uh, allergies, check me, 75 different things. I came back not allergic to nothing, which that sounds like a good idea, but where's this cough and this watery eyes and this runny nose and this shit that I get come from? You know, where's that come from? I got done testing. I put it on Facebook. Picture of my arm with all the little holes in it. And I said, yeah, I got tested for 75 things and apparently the only thing I'm allergic to is stock motorcycles. <laughs> I drained a little bit of it out sitting there on my floor. Your older chases uh, have a little set screw right there. And you just take that out. When it runs out that hole, that's when you're full. But I like to say about halfway, where you take the cap off and it don't run out the hole, but it's right there at the edge, that's what I consider good. That way it's, that old slinger's catching plenty of it. Oh, let me show y'all this. Yeah, I had a customer's bike in here yesterday. It was actually my wife's tattoo artist. He'll be in my next video. His rotor on the front, he's got custom wheels. Y'all look at this hardware. Somebody used in his front rotor. And look at the amount of Loctite on it. And they had the rotor on there backwards. You know, your rotor's got a counterset hole in it. Hang on. That's a set of rotor bolts right there. Torx bit, flat right there. They sit down in that hole. Now that's for a back rotor. It's, it's, it's a 3 8 bolt. Front's a 5 16 I think. But he had... Home Depot hardware in that man's front rotor. Shit like that pisses me off, man. That ain't safe. So, got a camping trip coming up. Uh, 
That's basically all this video is, just to tell y'all I've still been busy. Uh, I had Terry Massey here. If y'all haven't went and seen Terry Massey's new video, go check it out. Massey's MC Service is the name of his channel. Uh, he was here for the weekend. Uh, he bought those iron heads off of me. We did a video for his channel. Um, did Paradise Road Show. He had a good time. Him and his wife Miranda, they were a lot of fun to have in town. Um, Slick made an appearance. Uh, um, threw, a, threw a FaceTime. That was pretty cool to have Slick in the shop with us. Uh, uh, we thought Ralph was coming in, but Slick fooled us. So Ralph from It's My Time, Let's Go, didn't make it in. We thought he was. It was pretty funny. Uh, but I've got a good video coming out uh, next week. Uh, gonna take a few more days to get it edited, but I'll drop it next week. This one right here, you'll see it whenever the time comes. I don't know. I don't even know what today is. I don't know when I'll drop this video. Uh, I may drop it to y'all next Thursday. What is today? Wednesday. Yeah, you guys might see this on Thursday, the twenty. 5th or 6th or whatever maybe it is. I don't know. Anyway, I may air this next Thursday for y'all. Because my, my, my video from Paradise Road Show will come out the following week. So, um, just trying to put a few things on this bike to see how it'll do. This is, this is my, old, my old trusty travel bag. It's got my sleeping bags in it. It's even got a few tools already in it. <laughs> Probably got some zip ties in it. Every year I go to this uh, camp out, I ride a different chopper. This will be my third year at riding a different chopper every year. The first year I rode, you know, I had to go back and look through some of my earlier shorts, but I used to have a chopper in here. Uh, it was a shovel head chopper. had a coffin gas tank on it. It was white and orange and gold colored bike. Go check that out. That was the bike I rode the first year. Last year I rode that painted head. This year I'm gonna ride this, but I've never packed this seat, so I gotta see how I'm gonna like. Cause I still got it out of pillow and a blanket. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna like this. Uh, All right, that's not pushing me too far forward, but by the time I put a pillow on it, I don't want it pushing me like that. Cause I got about, it's gonna be about 180, 190 round, mile round trip. I only get about 60 miles per tank on this bike. So I'll have to stop and get fuel, but I gotta get the rest of my gear, plus the bags, the tools I'm gonna carry. I need to pull the tool bag off of that white line attached to this one. So I've always got tools on because I carry tools around with that pan head. Uh, I'm probably gonna shut this video down. No, guys, I haven't got back to work on that bike yet. Maybe next week. Uh, I can come out here and get back to work on it. Uh, the only thing I I've got basically left to do is finish mounting, mounting it to the CC bar, uh, get my seat finished up, figure out the full mount for my oil tank, and then I'm done fabricating. Uh, I'll be done, be all the way done fabricating. Of course, I had to monkey around with that oil tank until it fell out, but. I'm thinking if I, if I cut this right here, if I cut this top part out and I have these two pieces for the side, I think I can come in here. I can weld this to the sissy bar. And this will be, this will be down here like that. Drill a hole through it, bring a bolt from the inside out, bolt it, and that mounts into my sissy bar. Oh, I gotta make a plate for the license plate and the tail light. I, I don't have much to do, guys. I just gotta get out here and get after it. That's all it is to it. You know, just, just make myself get out here and do it. 
uh, to be honest with you. But before I go, please go check out Slick at Slick at Custom Cycles. He just dropped a killer, killer video. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, mostly because it had me in it. No, because <laughs> it had two hot chicks in it. Uh, shout out Little Mama and Miranda. Thanks for putting them in your video, Slick. Uh, shout out to Ralph up at It's My Time, Let's Go. Uh, he put out a awesome video with his wife in it. Hell, he may have put a video out since then. I'm kind of, I'm kind of behind out here. Um, but this bike's still for sale, guys. Seventy five hundred bucks. And if I don't sell it by the time I hit ten thousand subscribers, which I'm hoping I hit ten thousand by the end of the year, um, or at least by maybe March, that'll be ten thousand subscribers inside of two years. I'll be pretty proud of that fact. Um, we're steadily growing. Um, two to four hundred subscribers a month. That's awesome. So if you're new to the channel, had a lot of guys from England recently tell me that they've uh, that they subscribe. So um, thank you to all my subscribers, um, everybody brand new, and everybody that's been here from the beginning. My diehards, thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. Uh, I film all of this because of y'all. If I didn't have an audience, I wouldn't be filming this. I'd just be out here with my music playing, doing my thing in my zone. Um, but because you guys are so interested in what I've got going out here and you guys want to see what I'm doing, shit, man, I film these videos, man, for you guys. So thank y'all. I'm humbled. I appreciate y'all. God bless. Uh, half the people that watch my channel are not subscribed. My analytics tell me that. Uh, so if you're watching my video and you're watching my shorts or you're watching my channels, man, you really help the channel out. Smash that subscribe button, <clears throat> reach over, murder that alert bell, and uh, hit the like button. Leave me a comment, guys. It all helps my channel grow. I appreciate y'all. God bless. Oh, if you like what I'm doing, don't forget. Tune in next week <clears throat> to Home of the Sketchy Chopper, Hippie's Chopper Corner, baby. We keep them sketchy all the time.